There are those who approach life with the mindset that if I can cry enough, if I'm poor enough, if I can feel sorry for myself enough, if I can play victim enough, if I can curse enough, if I can be angry enough, be toxic enough, be unfriendly enough, be nasty enough, if I can be broken enough, if I can just tell my sad story to enough people, if only they can see how much I'm suffering, then perhaps life will give me what I deserve or what I want. Then perhaps people will give me what I want or what I deserve. The question, however, is, has this strategy ever worked? Stick with me. Let's find out together. Hello, everyone, and welcome to my channel once again. My name is Nikki Verd. I am the voice for those who yearn to recreate themselves in a world that is fast changing. I'm also the author of the best-selling book, Disrupt Yourself or Be Disrupted. And if you are new to my channel, remember to hit the subscribe button below and become part of my online community and also give this video a thumb up, thumb up. Yes, you definitely deserve to be successful. You definitely deserve to have money. You deserve to have food, clothing, and shelter. You deserve to have a good life. You deserve to have better relationships. You deserve to have a job. You deserve to have an income, of course, and so much more. But life doesn't always give us what we deserve. Life gives us what we are bold enough to ask for. And if all you are asking for is self-pity, then that's all you will get. If all you are asking for is for enough people to see how much you're suffering, then that's all you will get. If all you're asking for is for enough people to see how broken you are, then that is all you will get. But is that what you really want? Money definitely is attracted to your value, not your degree of poverty and definitely not your degree of self-pity. If life could respond to self-pity and, res and reward people for that, we would not have homeless people on our streets who will not have people suffering. So you can never rise above your circumstances by trying to blackmail or intimidate people into feeling sorry for you and doing something for you. Success or money responds to strategy, not intimidation. Success responds to your plan. Success responds to value. So the question is, what is your plan? What is your strategy? What value are you bringing to the table? And I've written extensively on this in my book, Disrupt Yourself or Be Disrupted. And I've also shared uh, some of the tips and nuggets on how you can add value to yourself here on my channel. You should check out some of the videos. And you can get my book on Amazon. I will share the links right down below. So, instead of complaining about how life has treated you and hoping to guilt trip someone to your rescue, Put that energy into creating real value for yourself. Because the sooner you come to terms with the fact that nobody owes you anything, life does not owe you anything. The sooner you take life, the sooner you take matters into your own hands and start to draft a plan for your life, then the sooner things will change. Your sad story means nothing until you turn that story into power, until you make something of that story. Remember, life change when you change, not when others change. Things will change when you change, not when someone else will change, not when society will change and start responding to your suffering. Things don't work out that way. It's time for you to take matters into your own hands. The strategy you've been trying all along by playing victim and wanting people to feel sorry for you, has it worked? I bet not. So how about you try something else? How about you think of adding real value to your life? How about you think of doing something completely different, something you have never done before? Something that makes you uncomfortable, which definitely is where the results lie. lie. That is where success lies. That's where greatness is created in that place of, of, of discomfort, in that place that makes you feel very uncomfortable. How about you try something new, something different? You can shape your own world. Yes, you are the power tool that shapes your own world. You might have been programmed by society that things are handed to you, you know, that 
the government is supposed to give you something, it's supposed to give you a house, it's supposed to give you a job, the government is supposed to give you electricity, food, and that your family owes you a good life or your friends owe you a good life or something like that. But in actual fact, you are the architect of your own life. And you can overcome all of these self-imposed assumptions and provoke a completely different mindset revolution that will transform your life. A person is crippled by a sense of entitlement. And a sense of entitlement stops you from trying to do something to your own life. A sense of entitlement makes you sit back and wait for someone to reward you for, some, for something you've done. And so... I hope that from now on, you will take your life seriously into your own hands and start doing something completely different, things you have never done before. Let go of entitlement, let go of self-pity. Self-pity has never created any greatness. Self-pity has never lifted anyone up. Self-pity has never inspired the next person if you feel sorry for yourself, do you think someone who is watching you is going to feel so inspired? Like, wow, look at this person. They feel so sorry for themselves. Wow, I'm inspired. Do you think that can happen? No. It is time for a new strategy. It is time for you to disrupt yourself, for you to disrupt your life, for you to disrupt your mindset. It is time for you to disrupt everything you have been familiar with until now. It is time for change. And I hope that this video has added some value to your life and that from now on, you will actually start taking steps to add real value to your own life. And you will let go of a victim mindset. You will let go of feeling sorry for yourself. You will let go of trying to intimidate the world or trying to intimidate people to doing things for you. No one owes you anything. Your life is 100% your responsibility. I hope to see you in my next video and do not forget to like share and subscribe to the channel check out more of the videos on my channel on how you can add value to yourself and i hope to see you in my next video thank you for watching